It's Monday the 5th of July 2021 and welcome to another Timeware Community Podcast. My name is Simon Virchow and once again with me is Mike Coop. How are you doing Mike? I'm good, I'm good. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I went to watch the football in Wales. Was it a good game? I didn't see it. It, it, it was right? a very good game, yeah. I'm When's proud the next match? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, what time is that? When's kickoff? Uh, eight o'clock. Ah, so we don't have to have an early finish. That's uh, good. Good. Oh, I should have said five. <laughs> Today's podcast, very short one about a feature that's been requested by one of our customers and it's minimum staffing levels. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just describe a bit of the background on this. Um, we um, obviously, everybody's aware we've got an absence management module within Timeware and we have the ability to, to uh, for people to request holidays and for a manager to enter the holiday into into the system and um, the system can can analyze who else is having time off and um, and it can it can analyze how many holidays are remaining for that member of staff what we wanted the system to do what this customer wants it to do is to advise if there are going to be too many people off within certain groupings yeah that apply awesome. to that individual so what would be any good example of that Let's give me an example mike okay so our support team here yeah. Uh, if, for example, uh, Matt and Nathan Beveridge are off, so there's two people off out of the team, and then Zach requested a holiday. Yeah. He would then, he would then, his manager Charlotte would then see uh, when she goes to approve or decline the holiday, it would show that Matt or Nathan are already off. Right. It would advise right. her that she's already lost two team members on that day. Right. So the whole idea is that. Um, we can we can specify a maximum staffing level or sorry a minimum staffing level so yeah. a minimum staffing level for for certain groupings groupings within. yeah okay so what would another one be what about forklift truck drivers how would that look so against uh, a grouping again we could have yeah. a forklift truck different types of groupings and within there there could be a minimum staffing level set on there as well okay does this go as far as First aiders. What about Again. training qualifications? Does this just cover it by groupings? It's just, it just covered by groupings at the minute. But what we tend to do with first aiders already is they already have like a grouping. Okay. Uh, so it's not usually a training certificate. We have a grouping for them on more Fine. systems. So once the script's when's the script going to be completed, first of all? So we're completing a specification in August. Yes. Uh, it'll be passed to the programming team. Uh, probably in our, at the end of August and yes. then it'll be ready for it'll be ready within about two weeks after then okay uh, so we're going to be able to implement it on 21 for this customer but it's going yeah. to become a standard feature, a standard feature. In, yeah in 22 and this this is uh, this this minimum staffing level request came in to the support department as a request yeah. in it and with some new procedures we've got now it's obviously identified it's not a support call it gets passed out of support gets passed to the feature enhancement guys um, yeah. and that who are part of the development team and we look at how we if, if this is something that's uh, that's very bespoke or whether it's something that will benefit the whole company and yeah. we decided it was something that would benefit everybody and it's going to be included as standard free of charge yeah yeah because we've had multiple feedbacks not from just this this inquiry so the the technicians have been asked for this before the support staff have been how, asked. how will this get implemented once this is work not 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 just for this one customer but in future what 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 would the plan be on this one, uh, it'd be basically because this part of the upgrade procedure is to go yeah. over anything new. It is a new feature. So, so could this be something that, that? So could this be something that um, that Dave and Bradley pick up on the post installation? It link? would be, yeah, as well. So they could raise this as a new feature that's available free of charge to the customer, and yeah. then they could organise the support guys implementing it at no cost to the customer. Yeah, and it's very easy to implement as well, just on Brilliant. that side. And what it means is when somebody goes into the absence absence management management screen and they try to make a booking, at that point they don't have to check any other screen. The system will say you can't do this, or we advise you not to do this. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's it. And it's it's designed for a lot of companies now. Uh, managers are in charge of like the approval process for the holiday, yeah. and it's it's to advise them. Basically, that's yeah. what it's for. Will it could, could it stop the the booking being made? We can do it. Yeah, we can do. And it. then we then it could be passed to somebody more senior who could then authorize it. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Or right. it could just be an advisory. And it can be just an them. advisory. Yeah. Yeah. Great. That was easy. That's a good one. Okay. Um. Anything else that you want to mention at this point? 
that was a song. Nope, that's oh, it. No, okay, good. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Let's um, meet next time. Thank you. Cheers. Bye -bye. Thank you.